this pink smirking critter is called an axolotl. Though it may look like a Pokemon, it is a real animal, and a unique one at that. The axolotl's permanent smiles and feathery external gills have made them popular among exotic pet enthusiasts. But despite their abundance and captivity, they're facing extinction in the wild. So where can you find these creatures? What's driving them toward extinction? And what's being done to save them? Centuries ago, the axolotl, which is a type of salamander, was revered by the ancient Aztecs as a god. In Aztec mythology, the god of fire, lightning, deformities, and death was called Xolotl. And according to legend, he once disguised himself as a salamander. The word axolotl comes from the Nahuatl language of the Aztecs and means water dog. These creatures only live in the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Xochimilco, near Mexico City, a place where the Aztecs once thrived. Axolotls differ from other salamanders because they spend their entire lives in water. More specifically, they live on the bottom of Xochimilco's lakes and canals. They eat mollusks, worms, insect larvae, crustaceans, and even some fish. Because they remain permanently underwater, axolotls retain their external gills. Other salamanders that live in water and on land lose their gills as they mature, and they develop lungs to breathe air. It's like a tadpole turning into a frog. This makes them neotenic, which means that adults retain traits seen only in young salamanders. Axolotls reach between 22 to 45 centimeters in length and weigh between 60 to 227 grams. That's about as much as a can of soup weighs. And these cute salamanders move at about 15 kilometers per hour and live about 10 to 15 years in the wild, or 50 to 75 in water dog years. But what really makes them crazy creatures is their ability to regenerate their limbs, lungs, heart, jaws, spines, and even parts of their brain. They can regrow their limbs up to five times, and their organs can regenerate countless times and be completely functional. It takes them just a few weeks and leaves no scars. So how does that work, you wonder? Human wounds heal by getting covered with skin tissue, usually leaving a scar. But axolotls heal differently. They transform nearby cells into stem cells while recruiting other cells to gather around the injury. Each tissue contributes its stem cells to the effort. The cells then begin forming bones, skin, and veins, similar to how the animal develops inside the egg. Imagine if humans could do that. That would be awesome. Whitewater rafting, here I come. Well, scientists are studying axolotls. Researchers hope that one day they'll be able to apply the axolotl's incredible abilities to human medicine. Okay, where do I sign up? And in addition to their almost magical regeneration skills, axolotls are over 1,000 times more resistant to cancer than mammals. This could also have practical applications in human medicine. These remarkable traits remain somewhat of a mystery, but scientists haven't given up. But unfortunately, due to pollution, habitat destruction, urbanization, and waterways diverted for human use, these special creatures are critically endangered. There are only about 50 to 1,000 mature axolotls left in the wild, and that number is declining. Thankfully, there are recovery plans, protected conservation sites, awareness education programs, and legislations to help keep these crazy creatures alive and thriving. Because if there's anything the world needs more of right now, it smiles. Ah, so cute. Being immune to cancer and regenerating their body parts is what axolotls do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures. <laughs>